fake observers for a fake election. The widely unrecognised Russian-backed insurgent vote in eastern Ukraine was not monitored by any credible organisations. The internationally reputable OSCE Human Rights Group was forced to deny Kremlin state media claims that they had been invited to observe the November 2nd ballot. In their place, though, a number of far-right and anti-EU representatives have been invited to Ukraine's insurgent-occupied regions as part of a puppet observer mission which was only announced hours before polling stations opened. Prior to voting day, self-declared officials in Donetsk and Luhansk had unveiled the ASCE, short for the Agency for Security and Cooperation in Europe. All the monitors are thought to have entered Ukraine illegally from Russia through border posts controlled by insurgents. The observer mission was spearheaded by far-right Austrian politician Erwald Stadler, who was evicted from the far-right Freedom Party last year. During a press conference, he was unable to answer how many observers would monitor the vote and even stumbled over the name of his own organization. Stadler is famous for saying in 2012 that Austria gained real freedom from fascism and tyranny not at the end of the Nazi regime in 1945, but a decade after when Allied troops withdrew. A Hungarian far-right lawmaker who called for a list of Jews to be drawn up who posed a national security risk in 2012 was also invited to monitor the vote. His invitation was issued despite Kremlin warnings of the rise of fascism across Ukraine but seems to align with Putin's aim of forging closer ties with Europe's far-right parties. The election observer mission appears to be a carbon copy to that in March when Russia held a fig leaf referendum on the annexation of Crimea from Ukraine.